I'm Jesus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can get a Dragon Law just from CSGO's in-game drops. Sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skin site where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later. So how is something like this even possible? Dragon Laws are very, very expensive. You need more than just spare change to get one. So how can you start with in-game drops and end up with one of these things? Well, the easiest way to get a Dragon Law from drops would be to, well, get a Dragon Law from drops. And in the past, this was actually possible. Dragon Laws have dropped during five different operations. I mean, this guy managed to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be complaining about that. But getting a Dragon Law this way was a little bit improbable. So basically, any cobblestone drop you got had a 1 in 3,906 chance of being a Dragon Law. And that might not sound too bad. But most operations also had six collections of drops, so your real odds are more like 1 in 23,436. Still better on lottery odds, but I wouldn't want to count on that. But, but hey, you could make as many CSGO accounts as you want to farm drops to maximize your chances. But again, there, there's problems here too. So during the last operation where you could get the Dragon Law, Operation Hydra, you could get 20 drops over the course of the operation. And of those 20 drops, 10 of them would be skins, so to get a Dragon Law, you'd probably have to make 2,343 CSGO accounts. Now, back then CSGO was not free to play, it cost $15, and you'd also have to buy Operation Hydra, which was $5.99. So, $21 per account times by 2,343 accounts, well, that's about $49,000. Now, by way of comparison, a factory new Dragon Law costs $5,000 today. So I don't know if I'd call buying $49,000 worth of Steam accounts a cost-effective way of getting one of these things dropped, but it's all a bit of a moot point because Dragon Laws haven't been dropping for years at this point, so we're going to need to try something different. Now, in a recent video, I showed you how you could get a knife from in-game drops, but of course, the cheapest knives are about $60, while the cheapest Dragon Law is about $1,500. So there's a bit of a difference there, it's going to be an uphill battle, but there is a way that we can make this work. So, starting at the beginning, what drops can we get? Well, each week, we can get one graffiti or skin in one to two cases as drops. Now, the graffitis and skins might net us a couple of dollars per year if we're lucky, so we're not really interested in those, but the cases are a bit more lucrative, because each year, Valve is going to be releasing several new cases, and if we get one of those things right after they first come out, we can easily sell it for $5 or so, and that is going to be our starting point. So let's say Valve has just released a new case, we jump into Deathmatch, we bang the heads off some noobs, and at the end of the game, we're lucky enough to get the case that we want. So we've got our case, we've got our starting point, and let's say we sell it for $5. Now with $5 in our Steam wallet, we can immediately go and buy an anime puzzle game and forget about that. No, I'm kidding. But what we need to do is try and turn that $5 into at least $200. And at this point, we're going to need to up our game from the drops to trade-ups. So to start with, we need a cheap and simple trade-up that isn't very risky. So to start off with, we're going to do this really cheap clutch case trade-up with 10 stat track minimal wear mil spec skins. So you lay down some buy orders to get the skins you want, sell off any skins with floats that are too high, you want to keep the average float below 0.1875, and then you just start spamming these things. And you should be able to do at least three per day. Each day we just sell off the skins we traded up for and repeat the cycle. We should be making about 60 cents per day, not much, but we need it to start building up the steam balance to get us to the next stage, more expensive trade-ups. And if we do this for a month, we should have about $20 or more. And this is enough to move on to something more expensive. Now, a good trade-up at this point would be this Spectrum Case trade-up for factory new classified skins. These are actually risk-free. You can get the skins in exactly the same way as the last trade-up, and we should be able to do at least one per day. Now, you should be making an average profit of $1 per trade-up from this particular trade-up. It is lopsided, so this Yang glue isn't a good result. All the money is in the decimator, but importantly, it's not a loss. Either it's break-even, so you just keep trying. And 
After a month or so of doing these, we should be at the point where we have about $50 in our Steam balance. Now, this is very important because it allows us to start doing some riskier trade-ups. So this factory new classified clutch case trade-up is a really good example. It is risky, you could lose money, but if you manage to get that factory new Cortex, there is some serious stonks involved. Crap. Uh, another good trade-up is this classified factory new wildfire trade-up. Again, risky, but if you can get that deagle, it can have a real payoff. <clears throat> okay, it's not going too well for me here, but if you're patient and take your time, you can build up quite a bit of money. Getting that $200 in three months or so is pretty realistic, and this allows you to move on to the next stage, which is investing. And the approach here is pretty simple. Wait for the next major to happen, spend half of your $200 in autograph capsules, so let's pretend that major was Katowice 2019 and we bought 400 autograph capsules, and we're just gonna leave those capsules sitting there untouched on our account and go back to our trade-ups. But lightning couldn't strike three times, could it? Okay, I didn't mean to get this, so that kind of ruins my joke. Anyway, over the five or six months until the next major rolls around, all we're gonna be focusing on is turning our $100 back into $200 again. And when that major hits, so in our example, it would have been the Berlin major, we just go and buy 400 autograph capsules. And that leaves us with $100 to spare. And at this point, our work is pretty much done. We don't need to do any more trade-ups. We can even go buy that anime puzzle game with the remaining money if you want. In fact, I'd recommend it because you're gonna need something to do because we're gonna be sitting back and waiting for a year as our capsules go up in price. And they'll be going up in price a lot. If we were to sell them today, assuming we bought an equal mix of the different order of capsules from each major, we would net exactly $2,000 after Steam tax. Just enough to buy the cheapest type of Dragon Lore on the Steam market, a Battle Scar Dragon Lore. And uh, with that, th there you have it. That's how you get a Dragon Lore just starting with in-game drops. Now, I should be clear, you can take this a lot further. If you're willing to put a lot more time and effort into your trade-ups, you could easily make three to four times more money with them. Now, just to be clear, you'll be putting in hours of work each day to do that, but at the end of it, you'll also have three to four times the money, probably enough to buy a factory new Dragon Lore. And if you got in early enough, you could also be investing in something like the glove case rather than autograph capsules. They were only five cents back in late 2019, so if you bought $100 of them back then, that would get you $1,200, arguably a better investment, although we are looking at that with the benefit of perfect hindsight. But either way, getting a Dragon Lord just starting with in-game drops was definitely doable, and in all honesty, pretty straightforward. All you had to do was build up some money through trade-ups, invest that, and then repeat the cycle. But is it still possible to pull this off again today. I mean, a lot of this is based on investments from the past and we can't know what the investments in the future are gonna be like. And at, at the moment, majors are permanently delayed anyway. So who knows when there'll be more major stickers to invest in? And who knows what the next good case to invest in is gonna be either. There's a lot of unpredictable factors that are really gonna affect what happens. But I would say this, if you get a few dollars together, and start cranking out trade-ups and just gradually work your way up, finding a few good investments here and there, etc. Eventually, it'll probably work out. I made about $20,000 back in the day through trade-ups, starting from only about $200 or so. It wasn't quick, but I made it work. And if I can make it work for me, it can work for you too. And if it doesn't work, there is another option, and that option is called getting a job. But seriously, it's very underrated. You can actually make lots and lots of money that way. You can meet people. It can be a real life changer. I, I really recommend trying it out, even if you are going down the trade-ups and investment path. It's really cool. I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway, with that, I think we're pretty much done. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Massively appreciated. And a big thank you to Skinport, for sponsoring this channel. Skinport, formerly known as Skin Bay, it's the same site. All that's changed is the name, is a skins marketplace and cash out site. It's safe, convenient, easy to use. It's got a super competitive sales fee of 5% if you put skinport.com in your username. A really, really low fee if you're looking to sell your skins. If you're looking to buy instead, it's got a ton of great deals with over 100,000 CSGO skins listed as well as easy to use deposit and withdrawal options. Awesome site, check it out, link is in the description. Anyway, 
that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.